Okay, the next thing I need you to do is go into your case and pull out your two mallets. They could be this color, they could be the opposite color, they might be all plastic. Uh, this is something we're gonna, you're gonna show me the first time we have our small group lesson. You're gonna show me what kind of mallets you have so I can make sure you have the, the right kind from the rental company. Uh, the way that we hold our mallets is very important. If we don't just grab on and start playing. Um, I'm a real stickler for how you hold your mallets and your sticks so that you get the best sound possible out of your bells. So let's start. You're going to start with whichever hand you write with. So for me, that's my left hand, but if you don't need to do your left hand. Whatever is your strongest hand, you're going to start with that. And I'm going to put one mallet down and we're just going to work with our strong hand. I'll do right hand because that's probably what most people are going to do. So when we hold our stick, okay, this is too far up. Look. We need to play with this end, right? This is called the head of the mallet, and this is called the shaft of the mallet, okay? And we put our hands on the shaft. The head, we need to have most of that sticking out in front of your finger. So I like to say, I don't know, this much sticking out the bottom of your hand, okay? The first thing we do is we hold on with our thumb and our first finger, and you, you squeeze with the, with the fat part of your thumb. It's called the pad of your thumb. Okay, and then you wrap the rest of your fingers around. Your thumb and your first finger should be next to each other. This is not good. There is no pointing. When we hold our bell mallets or drumsticks, we never point. Tuck it in. So if I say make sure your fingers are tucked in, that's what I'm talking about. This is where all the action happens. The squeeze between your first finger and your thumb is how you're going to hold on to your stick. Okay, your other fingers do wrap around. We don't play like this. That's weird. Your fingers do wrap around, but you're not gripping as hard as you can, okay? So tight between these two fingers, and then wrap your rest of your fingers around. Now, when we play bells, your thumb does not stick straight up to the sky. You roll your hand over, right? So this is bad. Mm -mm. Roll your hand over. Sometimes I put a little sticker on the top of your hand so you can see that it, the sticker should be going up to the ceiling, okay? So... Here's my mallet. I got my top of my hand going to the ceiling, and we're just going to do an up and down motion. Okay? Notice that I'm not using my whole arm. Just your wrist. Down, up. Down, up. So let's do four of those in a row, and I'm going to count you up. So you're just going in the air. Make sure you're not hitting anything. Okay? Down, up. Down, up. Let's do four in a row. One, two, ready, go. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Okay, it's almost so fast that the camera can't pick it up. We're not going slow motion. No way. Down up. It's fast. Down up. That's why you need to squeeze tightly here because if you're not holding on, it'll just fly out of your hand. Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. Switch hands. So this is going to be the hand that probably feels not as good because it's your weak hand. All right, but we're going to do the same thing. We want just a little bit sticking out the bottom. We squeeze between our thumb and our first finger, okay, we're squeezing, we're wrapping our fingers around, and we're turning the top of our hand to the ceiling. So let's try a down up on this. Now look how high I'm starting my mallet. We don't ever start playing from the down position. We always start from the up position so that we can go down up, down up. Let's try four of these. One, two, ready, go. Down up, down up, down up, down up. Okay, you might notice that maybe these fingers don't hold on as well as your other hand. You might notice that maybe it's harder to squeeze between these fingers. That's okay. We want to just get used to making it that motion with both our hands. Let's take both of our mallets at the same time. Okay, so when we talk about ready or set position, this is where our mallets are, straight up. Okay, so this is, if I call set, we're set like this. Okay, let's do four with your right hand and four with your left hand. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Here we go, four on each. One, two, ready, go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, switch. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, switch. Down, up, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. Awesome, you can relax. We only want to use our wrists, and the muscles that control our wrists are actually on the top of our arm here. So we don't want to be moving our shoulders, we're not flapping our wings or our arms, just using the tiny little muscles in your fingers and on the top of your arm. 
okay? So the next video, you're gonna need to get your bells in front of you. So get your bell set up in front of you with the long keys to the left and then go on to the next video.